Ladies, I'm requesting, urging, really asking you to watch this entire video. It's very short, but here's what I want to ask you to do. Would you consider dressing modestly? I know there's this huge instinctive female desire to be attractive to men and to show off your assets, shall we say. And so many women, especially in the summer, but even in the winter, show off way too much cleavage, way too much leg in the summer, too much midriff. Maybe you see, you know, the woman jogging down the road with her, you know, skin tight yoga pants and a little sports bra and that's all she's wearing. And, and you know what happens? Men, even great Christian men, maybe even your husband, stumbling into lust because of the treat to his eyes that's just, you know, foisted upon him. Well, how about if we all, at least as Christian women, say, you know, I'm not going to be part of that. I'm going to fight against this natural temptation to show off my assets, to be alluring to all men, to show off my physical beauty. What if we just said, you know what, I, I don't want to be the cause of another woman's husband stumbling and I'm hoping she's not going to try to cause my husband to stumble. And besides all that, in terms of an incentive to stop showing off your physical assets, except to your husband in the bedroom, uh, here's another incentive. God does not exactly have his favor resting on you when you are engaging in this. Listen to what this says in Luke 17, verse 1. Jesus said to his disciples, Things that cause people to stumble are bound to come, but woe to anyone through whom they come. Woe. I don't want to be the other, on the other end of God's woe, if you know what I mean. And also in 1 Corinthians 10, 32, God says, Do not cause anyone to stumble. So ladies, let's all pledge do our best to dress modestly, especially in church, please, at least in church. No more cleavage and short, short skirts and you know what I mean? Like, let's not cause other men to stumble. We're better than that. 